Hey, I'm Ryan with Hornet Discovers, and today we're going to look at a Ubiquiti product that I've been meaning to get my hands on for a little while, and it is the Ubiquiti SunMax Solar Point. And this is not a Unify product, but a UISP product. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So we have the Solar Point here, which you can pull mount or you can wall mount. And if you open the front, it kind of comes down, levers open, and you can see the solar panel connectors here, the H4 connectors, I'm pretty sure, as well as the connections that you can take out. So you can actually unscrew these two right here for convenience. One of them is for the 24 volt battery connections, and the other one is for wiring up any sort of 24 volt DC out that you're looking to power, as well as a built-in 100 megabit four port switch. So it doesn't have gigabit, but the main use case here is that I'm hoping to put this in a place where I don't have power and have some cameras powered up, as well as some other 24 volt electrical things that I'd like to wire up. Also underneath you have this tool where you can actually take it off and you have this shaver looking side to actually push underneath the ethernet cables to get them to disconnect, as well as this side to attempt to disconnect the H4 connectors for the solar panel. Next we have the pole mounts. These can basically go in on the back and they slide in together on the sides. You have a metal clasp for mounting to the pole mount, some screws for wall mounting as well as like a security screw, a nice helpful level that also slides in on the back. Then we have a zip tie, so you can zip tie this wherever you need it. And then you have this, which goes on to your battery. It's a thermistor, and I'm pretty sure it measures the temperature of the battery. So on the battery terminals here, there's additional connectors and you'd basically connect this end to that and this end to your battery. And that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Excited to get this wired up for a new project that I have. It is good to note that this takes in 10 to 60 volts. So if you do have one panel that is a 12 volt panel, it's gonna sort of fluctuate right on the line of the minimum amount of volts you can put in. So me running 24 volts, I'm gonna actually end up using two panels, which will put you right into that range of 10 to 60, as well as the max charging speed through this is actually seven amps, which converted over to something like 24 volts is about 168 watts. 200 watts is really gonna fit the bill there. So it's a little limited in terms of no gigabit and the maximum average of seven amps and that voltage range. But for what I'm looking to do, this is gonna be perfect. And if anybody's looking to do something just in a really small space out in rural area or anything, put a few cameras, this is definitely the perfect solution. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped.